Okay, let us read this problem. An ideal spring of negligible mass, massless string, is 12 cm long when nothing is attached to it. Okay, so let me make a rough diagram. So suppose this is 12 cm when nothing is attached here. Okay. When you hang a 3.15 kilogram weight from it, you measure its length to be 13.4 centimeter. If you hang something over here, what will happen is, you know, let me make it again, same string. When you hang something with mass 3.15 kilogram, there is some extension because of that extension, uh, total length is 13.40 centimeter, right? This is the scenario. Uh, from there, you can calculate how much is the extension, right? So 13.40 uh, minus 12 gives you 1.4, which is the extension, okay? X is 1.4. That means this string is displaced by 1.4 centimeter from its equilibrium condition, this position. Okay. You measure its length to be 13.40 centimeter. If you wanted to store 10 joule of energy, so potential energy, uh, elastic potential energy, so I can represent it by UEL, which is equal to, uh, how much is there? Uh, 10 joule right 10 joule if that is the case then uh, if you wanted to store 10.0 joule of potential energy in this spring what would be its uh, total length what would be the total extension that's what it is asking so x is equal to what this x is given when you hang 13 uh, uh, 3.15 kilogram of the weight and at that ca case the potential energy stored is not 10 joule right it is something else we don't know we don't need either but uh, to store 10 joule of energy which is potential energy right how much extension should be there how much stretching should be there okay that's what question is asking it could be stretching or it it could be compression as well okay you can compress the string or you can extend this string to uh, have potential energy to create potential energy okay so how to calculate the elastic potential energy we have equation elastic potential energy is given by of spring is given by half k x square right where k is the spring constant and x is the displacement right we already know the x how much is displacement from this position to the new position so this one right here is the spring constant constant right spring constant but we don't know spring constant. If we are able to know spring constant, we already know u because u is given right here, right? If we are able to know spring constant, you can easily calculate x. There is only one variable that is unknown in this equation, but we don't know x. So our first goal is to find x, uh, k, right? How to find the k? To find the k, we need some equation which is Hooke's law because question is saying that still when you hang some other mass to have 10 joule of potential energy the string is following Hooke's law so uh, let us apply Hooke's law from there you can get a spring constraint so I mean Hooke's law f is equal to kx this is the Hooke's law Okay, uh, from there, k equal to f divided by x. And what is f? Mass 
multiplied by z because this is the weight the force applied here is the weight okay divided by x so x i already have calculated that that one isn't it uh and 13 12 1.4 1.4 that's correct okay which is equal to what is the mass given here mass in this equation let me go where is mass let me get it from equation 3.14 this is mass let me write down here 3.14 kilogram isn't it and value of acceleration due to gravity we are familiar with that value 9.8 meter per second square whole divided by x is oh we have to convert from you know everything is given in si unit kg is uh, si unit and meter per second is si unit we must convert uh, uh, this centimeter into meter okay so when you convert this centimeter into meter we will get like 0 0.134 minus uh, 0 0.1200 right so from there you will get uh, 4 and then how much is there 4 is there and if you subtract 2 from 3 it will be 1 right and then from 1 that is 0 right 0 0.14 so it is 0 0.14 which is the x okay no 0 4 let me see here let's do 0 0.134 simply subtract 0 0.120 okay so 4 1 0 0 okay so one more zeros here and a decimal here okay decimal 0 0.014 this is in meter okay so if you put these things in calculator you will get something uh, around uh, this value is coming let me calculate this one real quick uh 3.14 9.8 divided by 0 0.014 I'm getting this value around 2205 Newton per meter because force is measured in Newton and this is the extension stretching or compression which is in meter okay 22.5 so this is the spring constant of that spring that we are using now our next goal is to find dx so to find dx you can apply u elastic is equal to half m b m uh, that's not m i'm sorry is kx squared right so this is the two one by two kx squared now x is equal to x squared is equal to two u l e l elastic potential energy right divided by k isn't it so if you eliminate this uh, square from here here will be square root u e l divided by k now let us put values okay so if i put like x equal to 2 multiplied by 10 joule was there whole divided by 2205 uh, newton per meter and it was joule right which is equal to if you uh, do that you will get something like uh, when we uh, square root this one it will be plus and minus right because some mathematics is missing here so plus minus 
and I will be getting 0. Point, uh, zero nine five two meter right if you convert this one into centimeter x will be equal to zero point uh it's not zero point plus minus plus minus nine point five two centimeter right so the string that is uh 12 centimeter in length should be stressed or compressed compressed here like this and stressed like very 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 long right we can plus means you can either either stress it pull it down or compress it so that uh, total elastic potential energy will be tenjoule right so when you add this number with in uh, uh, original 20 centimeter 20 centimeter plus 9.52 will give you uh, something 21.52 centimeter so when you stress it or if you compress it 12 centimeter minus 9.52 will give you something 2.48 centimeter right you can have tangible potential energy in the given string either by stretching up to all total 21.52 centimeter all the way down up to here or you can you can compress this string so that its length total length is 2.48 okay so in this way you can solve the problem related to um, uh, spring the potential energy is stored in spring so main thing is you ha we have to understand hook's law to find whether uh, spring constant or force whatever is unknown we can find it out from uh, hook's law and then in case of the spring there is elastic potential energy the formula is this one u elastic EL is equal to half kx square where k is spring constant.